After loading the ship in Nova Scotia, we still had some business to take care of before we made our way to Ascension Island. So we set course to the Canary Islands. Despite the weather, Jace was in a great mood. Because on Las Palmas, he would be going home. pretty good though in the room it's like shifted around and the water's all over the place uh, everything found a home and it looks like it's it's good where it is but I just finished my night watch and I'm freaking exhausted so I have to go to sleep so I'm gonna put a little show you a little trick real quick In every sailor's room is a Gumby suit and a life jacket. So when the ship's rolling, if you throw the Gumby suit and the life jacket underneath the one side of your bed and wedge yourself against the bulkhead, even though the ship rolls, your body won't because it'll be wedged in the corner. After the cold, hectic days in Nova Scotia, it felt great to be on the move again. No more crazy loading schedule. We just kind of fell into a nice sea-going routine. We were greasing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More Except this time we didn't have Bambi, our grease gum. We decided to draw the grease out of a five gallon bucket and run a hose up to the top of the cranes. It didn't make a difference to me. I still got just as greasy. really enjoyed greasing the top of the cranes. I felt it was calling to my ancient seafarers. It was probably the closest I'll ever come to working way up on a mast on an old tall ship.
just anchored in Las Palmas, Canary Islands, getting stores, a couple pallets of stores. But the big thing we're doing here is guys are coming on to fumigate the cargo um, and we're gonna get bunkers. I don't know when bunkers is gonna happen, but all the fumigators are coming on board right now. So, the guys that came on, they're gonna drop a chemical agent on the cargo, and we seal up the hatches, <clears throat> make it airtight, and basically fumigates the cargo, so kills anything that's living in there. Because where we're bringing the stone, it's like a closed ecosystem, and they don't want any kind of things coming into the environment. So, we just fumigate it, kill everything, and that's what we're doing here. Now we let the fumigate do its thing. I spent one hour, no, I'm sorry, I spent two hours working on deck. And you know what happened? So I was gonna wear your hat backwards on your palest day. Spent two freaking months in Canada. That's what happens when you go to the equator. Crew change is always a bittersweet moment. On one hand, you have new crew coming on, which always boosts morale, fresh energy, new faces, <laughs> new stories. But on the other hand, you have guys leaving. Guys that you've seen every day for the past couple months. You share meals with them, you work with them. You get to know them real well. And the truth of the matter is, once they leave, chances are you'll never see them again. That's just how the industry is. Goodbye, I miss you! But there's always hope. You'll see someone again on another ship. The last order of business was getting bunkers or fueling up before we left. Being a deckhand, I don't know much about bunkering. My only job is we take on the lines and secure the barge. Once everything was hooked up, bunkering didn't take long. I want to say something like 10 hours, give or take an hour or so. Now that we've gotten stores, fumigated the cargo, did a crew change, and got bunkers, we were all set to lift anchor and set course, finally, 
for Ascension Island. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.